Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Nathan, this is Royal Masters. So I got my buddies here, the 960, the Roomba E5, and we got Lucky Charms. You guessed it, yes, we're gonna do another extreme pickup challenge. I will see how well the dirt detection sensors are both these robots do. Okay, before we do that, I wanna go ahead and say hi to Sparkles. Hey, yeah, Sparkles, let's say hi. Uh, you're not Sparkles, you're like a duck or something. Okay, hey, uh, duck, you wanna crack for me? Um... No, that's sad. You're broken. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Have you ever had one of those moments where you thought, Oh wow, this is such a great idea, but when you actually executed the idea, it wasn't so great after all? Well, I experienced this while filming. Watch till the end, I'll show you why exactly this wasn't such a great idea. So both the Roomba E5 and Roomba 960 have a dirt detection sensor, so they can detect when there's a lot of dirt or debris. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this in this video. Also, they should be able to stop when the dirt bins fall, but you'll see only one robot has this capability, the other one will keep on going. Okay, it looks like both the E5 and 960 activated their dirt detection sensor when they detected excessive amount of dirt. So both the E5 and 960 have a unique way of concentrating on the area. Since the E5 uses the iAdapt 1.0, it actually spins in a circle, whereas the 960 uses iAdapt 2.0, so it actually does a short back and forth cleaning pattern, kind of like on the iAdapt 3.0, which is found on the Roomba i7, S9, and M6. Okay, so you're probably wondering why in the world did the 960 just stop in the middle of the room? Well, I got a notification from the app saying that the bin sensor has a problem, usually indicating that the bin is full. I went ahead and emptied it out. So the 960 has two options in the app. You can actually tell it to keep going until the bin's full and it will stop. Or you can actually tell it to uh, keep on cleaning even though the bin's full. Let's have a look at the bin. It looks like it's about maybe halfway, maybe two thirds full. So it doesn't quite fill up the entire bin, which is good. So it doesn't cause issues with the extractors if it's overflowing with debris. Okay, I was hoping that the E5 would have a similar feature in the app where you can switch between keep cleaning when the bin's full or stop when the bin's full. But unfortunately on the E5, it doesn't have the option. So the E5 was continuing cleaning and then eventually it got overflowed and it wasn't able to pick up any more debris. Okay, watch the E5 closely because after a while you would notice that it stopped picking up the Lucky Charms and it just started spraying around. That means that the bin was completely full and it was actually overflowing back into the extractor area and causing the robot to get clogged up. The easiest way to distinguish the robots is the 960 will have a camera on top of it, kind of like on the i7 and Roomba S9, whereas the E5 has a sleek black finish. There's no camera, it's just a random navigating robot. This is basically iAdapt 1.0, but for small areas like this, the E5 really shines and does well going over the area more than once. Here on my channel, my most asked comment is probably, what Roomba should I get? Well, if you have a high traffic area and your household is fairly large or your floor plan, I would recommend like the i7 or S9 because it will keep down the dirt daily and also has the ability to self-empty itself. Now, if you're looking for something that's a little bit easier to manage, maybe you don't want the smart mapping, but you still have a large household, then the 960 is a great option because it offers the same smart mapping minus the area select and keep out zones, but it does have the ability to recharge and resume and it knows where it's at at all times. Now, if you have a small area, maybe a one bedroom apartment, the Roomba E5 is the best option because it allows you to go over the area more than once. Remember when I said the great idea I thought was a good idea is no longer a good idea? Well, watch the Roomba E5. Okay, so the bin is definitely full. It's overflowing. The extractors have a bunch of lucky charms in there. And you can see it's just kind of scattering the debris around. And also the side brush is kicking out lucky charms as well. So it's definitely making a giant mess. I saw this and I had to go ahead and end the job on the E5. Maybe down the road, iRobot can provide a software update for the Roomba E5, allowing it to have the ability to stop when the bin's full. This is similar to the i7, the 960, and the S9 models. But as you can see, as the bin gets 
overfilled, it spreads out the debris. And I definitely checked the bin out and you can see how full the bin really was. Yes, I understand this is a little extreme having all these Cheerios on the ground, but it could happen. Someone could spill a whole box of Cheerios, who knows. But I just wanted to showcase the dirt detection sensor. Both the robots have a really good sensor and they definitely can tell when there's excessive debris. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue filming for a bit, but you notice how much scattered debris both the robots did. Uh, I would have to constantly keep an eye on the dustbins, so I went ahead and ended this test early, but it just showcased that the dirt detection sensors do work, and also on the 960, if the bin gets full, it will stop. Now on the E5, it will not do that, it will just continue cleaning, so definitely keep an eye on the E5 if you're an E5 owner. So if you guys are a big fan of these crazy pickup challenges, please smash the like button, helps me gauge if this video is popular or not. I've been looking over my analytics and it shows that a lot of people do like these pickup challenges. And yes, I argue that they don't represent the real world, but it just showcase how much these robot vacuums can handle. I also like to stress test these robots. I do garage pickups. I also do teardowns, tear ups. So I do a lot of different unique videos just to show you about these robot vacuums. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nathan. This is Robot Masters. So this is a very unique channel in the terms that I do a lot of crazy challenges and testing. So last thing I want to talk about is if you're interested in a Roomba, there's some great sales going on since it's the holidays. Amazon has some great specials, especially for like the Roomba i7 Plus. For 300 bucks off the original price at $999, you can't beat it. So definitely jump in and on deal because I don't know how long Amazon's going to keep that $300 price tag off. I'm pretty sure after the holidays, the price will go up to $999. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end the test and uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See you guys next time.